Who's in? Who's out? Possibly for the 2025 season for the Major League Bass Pro Tour. After stage six, here's what we got. That's what we're going to talk about right now. Before we get started, I want to say thank you. I mean, really, thank you. It's mind-boggling what has happened the last few months, so I really do appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, do me a favor and click that subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. We're going to talk about who's possibly in and who's possibly out. We're going to do a little recap and then go right into the 25 or 20 anglers that I think are outside of the box for the 2025 season. If you don't know, Major League Fishing is moving down to 65 anglers, so we're going to look at the bottom 20 anglers from 80 to 60 who are probably out of major league fishing if it ended right now after stage six so here's how i've done it from 2019 to this year i've went back and made a spreadsheet of all the anglers that are on the beep in the bpt right now and i've looked up every year on where their ranking was for angler of the year not their points but their ranking i've then added it all across and then it's given me an average from one to 80. now if you're in major league fishing or the bass pro tour you are allowed to remove your worst year if you've been in it for three years i have not removed anyone yet because 2024 could be their worst year but as we're starting to see we can kind of pick out certain people where their worst years are going to be and then from there we'll talk about the bottom 20. first though stage six on james river was awesome i'm not joking the championship day was as good as any final day of fishing you can put out there and here's why in most cases on the BPT, you get someone to run away with first place, and everyone's kind of fighting for second place. This wasn't the case here. It was, but it wasn't. Skeet Reese went on a tear and was up almost 17, 18, 19 pounds going into or during the third period, and Jeff Sprague just came out of nowhere and just was awesome. We also had the Wheeler-Becker incident on day two of the group A or B, whatever it was, which added some drama into the weekend. We also had people people that were bank beaters and then there were a lot of people that were scoping so it was a good mix of both ways of fishing but when it was all said and done the new inducted hall of famer and birthday boy Skeet Reese pulled off his first win on the BPT which is kind of amazing if you don't know Skeet Reese's career has been hall of fame he's one of the best anglers of all time and to think that this is the first time he's won a trophy on the BPT is almost confusing because he's still a really good angler and he really needed the points that came with winning this weekend. But anglers like Jeff Sprague and several others really, really made the tournament fun on, on Championship Sunday. And there was a time where you just thought there's no way anyone could catch Skeet. But as that third period started to wind down, Jeff Sprague did everything he could to get himself in contention to win. And he even said, I should have been here 30 minutes earlier. Or in Skeet's case, he kind of slowed down and then out of nowhere he had to pick it back up with 15-20 minutes to go and that drama back and forth was awesome to watch but congratulations to Skeet Reese and actually congratulations to Jeff Sprague because he was absolutely awesome to watch but now let's look at who's in and who's out. If I do all my standings and calculations, and they could be wrong for all I know, I've tried to do my best. So here's the guys I have looking outside, trying to get in. Some of these guys pretty much are out, unfortunately. But guessing which year they're going to remove has a will have a big change on this. And I'll go over that in a few seconds. In 80th, we have Colby Schumpf. We have Jacopo Gillelli, Boyd Duckett, Jason Vance, Cliff Crochet, Josh Weaver, Kelly Jordan, Gray Buck, John Murray, Gary Klein, who's currently 71st, David Walker, Keith Carson, Matt Lee, Marty Robinson, Matt Steffen, Scott Suggs, Brandon Coulter, Dean Rojas, Dave Lefebvre, Shin Fukai, Randy Howell is in 60th, and then in 59th we have Britt Myers and Ryan Salzman. And when I look at it and see what's going on, I can say... Without a, without a doubt, Ryan Salzman makes it no problem because this is going to be his worst year is this year. So the three years that he has will definitely get him. He's probably in that 38th, 39th place. You have Britt Myers, who is going to get rid of his 77th place finish in 2019. And then it goes on and on. But removing that one year will make a big difference for a lot of anglers. And these rookies like Keith Carson and Gray Buck and Jason Vance and Jacopo Galelli and Colby Schumpf, they're probably not going to make it. They're so far down in the list now that when they take that top 35 or 45 and then add the top 10 anglers after that that aren't angler of the year and then 
from this year. They just are too far down. And we're not even putting in anything if there's some sort of exemption that we don't even know of, which hopefully isn't going to happen. But there's only a couple more tournaments left, and I think after next tournament, we can start to eliminate their worst years. Because some anglers like Marty Robinson is going to get rid of his 2021 season. Because he's not going to be under 74th this year, or hopefully. Or an angler like Scott Suggs, who's currently in that 65-ish area, and he's going to get rid of this year where he's 74th in Angler of the Year standings. So getting rid of this year's really going to boost Scott up. I think anglers like Dave Thieber, Scott Suggs, Brandon Coulter, those guys are on that verge. But when you get rid of that year, it's really going to make a big difference. So we'll find out very soon. So what did you think of the Bass Pro Shop Stage 6 on James River? Did you think it was as good as I did? I will be honest and keep it real. This was the first time I actually thought Score Tracker was helping the tournament. Sprague knowing where he stood and Skeet knowing that Sprague was about to catch him made for exceptional drama that it doesn't happen with the elites because on the elites you wait for the day the end of the day to find out who is doing what and when you look at bass track no offense there are a lot of guys that just don't know how to weigh a fish properly and they're completely sandbagged but that adds to the drama too because some guys just jump out of nowhere think they have 19 pounds and they come in and they have 26 that happens but i thought this week's bass pro tour major league fishing james river stage six was one of the most fun tournaments this year i actually think think this is the second tournament that I really think BPT nailed it. But what do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you for everything. Seriously, I, I really can't say thank you enough. I could say thank you a million times. It wouldn't be enough. Actually, I could say it 874,000 times. But thank you. Cheers.